Boss, I really can't. Luminous, the most outstanding person after Johan and I. I've been determined to win you over for the student union ever since you first entered the college. You should know your own limitations. But I really can't be the president of the student council. No one is born into the position of student union president. You have to train to earn the position. I'll leave the student union dance group to you. Isabel is the head of the dance troupe. She will be your assistant. Don't worry. Luminous, we support you. Okay, Johan is here. Luminous, let's head over there. So slow. Sorry, the president has to deal with too many documents out of the office at this point, which has caused some delays. Luminous, I heard you're the new student union president. Congratulations. Huh? That... I... I'm also completely baffled. He's a president, and you're a president. You have equal authority, so don't be humble. When the student union was under my control, it suppressed Lionheart. Luminous, keep it that way. Boss. Yo! Everyone here? You all got together and didn't invite me? That's not cool. Finger! Aren't you on an internship overseas? Hey! It's because little bro can't deal with it, so Eva brought me back here. It'll be so hard for us to meet up again in the future. We'll be so far apart from each other. I'll be in the Italy division the whole time. How about you, Johan? I've been dispatched on a mission recently. The Enforcement Bureau hasn't told me where to go afterwards. When you graduate, who will inherit Lionheart? Luminous has already been stolen by me. You don't have a successor, right? The Lionheart president is selected from within the association. We have a lot of outstanding talent. There is no need to worry. Susie will handle it. I just need to be present at the president's handover ceremony. Let's wait and see which one of us is the best. I made a reservation at the Hot Spring Hotel at the foot of the mountain. Let's go and have a good time tonight. Let's see who arrives first. Who are you going with? Temporary mission agent, please come to the principal's office.
Welcome back, Agent. Please note that this is a top secret mission. Agent Johan, A-Class, will be responsible for this operation. You will assist him, so make sure you follow his orders. Please proceed to the library to receive your materials. I must remind you that this operation is classified as Top Secret. Any information about this operation is not allowed to be shared with unrelated parties. Eh? How come you're the agent this time? Everything I can find is here. There is far too few information. I'm afraid this mission won't be so simple. Come on! I'll transfer the resources to you. There aren't any outsiders here. So I'll just tell you the intel now. For this mission, the Enforcement Bureau specifically chose you two. Your destination is a luxury cruise ship. The Yemel was once the largest icebreaker in the world. It was built for the purpose of sailing to the North Pole. Later on, it was converted into a luxury cruise ship and was always cruising around the Arctic Ocean. It seems like the ship doesn't belong to any known hybrid family, but they are certainly aware of the existence of dragons. It has been consistently cruising in the former icy project area. I have no idea what it's up to. Your goal is to find out what they've been looking for in the Arctic Ocean for so many years. In other words, find out if what they're looking for has anything to do with dragons. Eva and I will act together. Don't give me that look. I'm also a top intel collector, okay? For over a decade, the ship has been circling around the Arctic Ocean, going back and forth, costing hundreds of millions of dollars every year. The cruise ship can't earn back this huge sum of money, so what is making them so persistent when they risk losing everything? According to Eva's analysis, Johan's strengths make him the best suited for this mission. If it were Caesar, the budget would be more than double. The ship's captain Sasha, whose real name is Alexander, is actually in charge of the ship's security. As for the real captain, he's been living on board the Yemel since he started renting it at the start of the century. Apart from a few guests, no one has ever seen him. With regards to his intel, the people that have met him are very wealthy. Even our best investigators haven't been able to collect any intel about him. I never thought that, even with Eva and I working together, we couldn't discover his background. There is definitely something wrong with the captain, but it's up to you and Johan to find out what it is. Agent, the Enforcement Bureau has delivered the funds for this operation. They're all in this box. What? Funds? How much money? We get cash for this operation? Bank notes. Every note is 1 million, and there are 100 notes. That's a total of 100 million, so please be careful. Let me see. 
The professor specifically ordered that you cannot go within one meter of this box, Finger. Otherwise, I'll have the authority to use exhypnosis on you. Also, I'll deduct three months of your internship allowance from you. Come on! I've never seen so much money before. I just want a little peek. All right! I'm not moving! I'm not moving! Calm down. Don't use your ex so recklessly. Agent Johnson is preparing the weapons for this operation. Please take the file box. The helicopter is ready to embark in the hangar. Good luck on your mission. Hey, make sure you come back alive. All ready. Let's get going. I confirmed all the intel on the way here. You got it, right? Eva suggests we take the fake captain as a means of reaching the real captain. Together we'll be discovered. You can investigate here. I'll go up and have a look. If I find the target, I'll contact you right away. The target has appeared on the upper deck.
We're always sailing in such lonely seas. We've named every single iceberg. In our eyes, they're like white girls, always waiting for us on this stretch of sea. Even if we aren't using a navigator, so long as we can see these icebergs, we can know which part of the sea we're sailing in. What's your name? Yo, Johan? Mr. Chu, it seems your partner has arrived. Oh, it looks like you two came looking for me. What can I do for you? <laughs> you found the right person. I'm the captain of the Yamal, Sasha Rabalko. No, not you. It's the real captain. How come there are two captains on this ship? You're a real joker. Your real name is Alexander Rabalko. Retired from the army and got employed by the real captain. You were married once. Guards! Sorry, sorry. That was my instant reaction. So, my disguise failed? I thought that if I changed my name and did a little bit of plastic surgery, I could completely cover up the past. Anyone who has lived in this world will always leave traces. Cell College? Never heard of it. What do you guys want? Fine, fine. I'll take you to see the captain. You did bring enough cash after all. Good luck. I hope you don't provoke the captain into brainwashing you, then get thrown off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> 